Hi guys, and welcome to graphing rational functions of the form y equals ax plus b over cx plus d. Okay, so if you haven't looked at the video about analyzing rational functions of this form, uh, you should go back and look at that because we go over how you find these asymptotes. Okay, so it's um, you have your equation right here, and then the asymptotes are vertical one is x equals negative d over c, which in this case gives us x equals negative 3, and our horizontal asymptote uh, is always y equals a over c, which in this case gives us y equals 1. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plot those asymptotes on this graph. Okay, so x equals negative 3 is the vertical line where x is negative 3. All right, so that's over here. So we draw a dotted vertical line to start out with. And remember, it's dotted because the asymptote isn't actually part of our graph. It's just guiding us as to how the graph of the function is going to look like. Okay, So we've got our vertical asymptote here. And so now we need to draw our horizontal asymptote. And that's y equals positive 1. So we go over to positive 1 on the y-axis. And we just draw ourselves a horizontal line here. And remember that the asymptotes, these are the lines that our graph is not going to be able to cross. Okay, so that's, they guide us in drawing the uh, hyperbolas that this is going to make. And the graph is going to get really close to the asymptotes, but never actually touch it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, start figuring out what some of these points are. Okay, so we always want to pick um, a couple points. I always pick three to the left of the vertical asymptote and a couple points to the right. Okay, so let's look at the left first. So we start at negative three, so I picked negative four, negative five, and negative six. And so we're gonna, we're gonna plug them in. So if you plug in negative four here, so you have negative four minus one is negative five, and negative four plus three is negative one. And so negative five divided by negative one will give us positive five. All right, and if you want to check the rest of my calculations, feel free to. But when we plug in negative 5, we're going to end up with positive 3. And when we plug in negative 6, we're going to end up with positive 2 and 1 third. Okay, so these are going to be our y values for these x's. And so let's go ahead and plot them. So we've got the point negative 3, positive 5. Sorry, negative 4, positive 5. So that's over here. And then up. 5, which puts us right here. I'm going to plot a point right there. Um, negative 5, positive 3, so that's over 5, and up 3. And then negative 6, and 2 and 1 third. So we're just going to put a point kind of right above where this 2 line is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and plot our points that are going to be to the right of the vertical asymptote. So for these points, we do exactly the same thing. We're going to start by plugging these numbers in. Okay, so negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, negative 2 plus 1 is positive 1, and negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. Okay, so when x is negative 2, y is negative 3. Okay, we plug these in, same thing, feel free to plug them in yourself, and you end up getting when x is negative 1, y is also negative 1, and when x is 0, y is negative 1 third. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plot these points right here. So we've got negative 2, negative 3. So we go down 3 here. And remember, one more time, so we're always counting when we're plotting points. We're always counting from the black line here and not from our asymptotes, okay, from the black line. And we've got negative 1, negative 1, which would be right here. And then 0, negative 1 third. So we're going to go kind of just, just below that 0 line. Okay, so now once we have our points plotted, now we're going to draw in our curves. So remember when you draw in curves for a hyperbola, it's a curve that gets really close to the asymptote without ever crossing it. So we've got one of our branches here, so really close to the asymptote without ever crossing it. And now we're going to draw our blue one in. Okay, same thing. We're going to just connect the dots with a nice curve and get the ends get close to the asymptote without ever crossing it. Same thing here. They get close to the asymptotes without ever crossing it. And that's all.